Welcome to Pondule 5. Uh, here we're going to just be talking about PHR, personal health records. Uh, this, this is probably one of the smaller sections, and, and I'll explain why these are there isn't so much here. Uh, and that's mostly because of the involvement the patient has with regards to uh, systems that they use. So what is a personal health record? Well, a personal health record is a record that is initiated and maintained by the individual. Basically, I decide that I want a system uh, that contains all of my uh, health records from all of my providers. And that's what a PHR basically does. It will aggregate sources, data from different sources, such as pharmacies or my oncologist or, or my uh, cardiologist uh, or uh, anything that I've done for, say, durable medical equipment, like if I needed a wheelchair or prosthetics or if I'm managing a chronic care. All of that information will be contained within this PHR. And it will contain things like my allergies, adverse drug reactions. It will actually indicate to me when I'm taking medications when there's a problem with the medication that I'm taking. Uh, does it interact with alcohol? Does it interact with tobacco? Does it interact with any other drug that I'm taking? Uh, it looks at all the medications and provides a, a, a list and alerts me with how I should take it or um, uh, where the medication might be problematic. If there is a recall, I will get notified on that medication as well. It will also keep track of all my illnesses and hospitalizations, surgeries and other procedures, vaccination results so I know when I was vaccinated for a certain uh, uh, disease, uh, laboratory test results, as well as family history. Uh, a good example of this is Microsoft Health Vault. They basically provide that entire longitudinal uh, set of information across all providers. And many of the systems out there automatically integrate with Microsoft Health Vault. So, for example, if I go to CVS and I have a prescription refill, it will actually send that information into my Microsoft Health Vault. If I go to a doctor that is using, say, Allscripts, Allscripts will do the same thing, and certain hospitals will also be able to insert that information into Microsoft Health Vault. One of the issues and concerns around things like Microsoft Health Vault is security and privacy, and there will uh, be a link to a video on YouTube regarding Microsoft Health Vault as well. So the, some of the principles here uh, for uh, PHR is each person should control his or her own PHR. And this should contain the longitudinal information of the patient, whatever information the patient deems necessary for their care. And it can also contain information such as my exercise routine, weight, height, and provide other uh, things that are important for managing my care. Um, it should contain information across the spectrum of healthcare providers. So I should be able to get information across any provider and have that information automatically inserted. If it's not automatically inserted, then I should be able to update it myself so that I can maintain that history. It should have ubiquitous and timely access. I should be able to access it anywhere I need to in the event of an emergency or in the event I just wish to view it. It should be highly secured and private. Uh, these records should have sig significant confidentiality, uh, measures in place. It should have uh, encryption uh, and it should be uh, it should change accordingly with the standards of the time. It should also provide for transparency. That is that all activity should be logged so that a patient can review who has read, entered, or updated any information. And in addition, I should be able to maintain other histories as well. So for example, if I'm the primary care for say an elderly uh, parent, I would want to maintain that history in a central area so that I can not only manage theirs, but mine as well. Or converse, uh, similarly, I may want to do the same thing for my children as well, where I can maintain their records uh, between them and their pediatricians. It should also facilitate the exchange of data with other systems and health professionals, most notably using the HL7 uh, standards, because this is clinical information. So what does the architecture look like? Well, we'll have some PHR system, and with payers, we might send information related to claims and additional information for disease and chronic illnesses. And we may also wish to retrieve information necessary for claims and care management. Again, if we allow that, we do not have to allow that. But payers would love to also see that information because they would like to be able to ensure that they're paying you know, for proper uh, procedures. Doctors, hospitals, pharmacies, and labs will send information related to treatment, diagnosis, and vitals that might be taken at visit, and that you might want to trend. So, for example, cholesterol readings, blood pressure readings, weight, and height, as an example. But also retrieve information necessary for care, such as prior history, prior illnesses, or even counteracting drugs. But myself as the patient, I'm, I'm the one who benefits from having this entire data set, so long as I can control it. I can control who has access, which you are able to do with things like Microsoft Health Vault uh, or otherwise. Um, you can put in additional information such as changes in weight, height, or habits. 
Additionally, patients can manage family history, as we mentioned. But I can also mark certain events. For example, uh, maybe you decided to go on a particular diet, and you can mark at this point in time so you can see how that diet performed or to see if there was any other connection to any uh, adverse events that may have occurred. You may also have uh, started an exercise routine, and you may want to track certain vital signs and how they have changed. Since PHR systems contain longitudinal in information, uh, many firms' uh, EHR systems have partnered with places like Microsoft to enable their software to be CCHIT compliant. Uh, CCHIT requires that patients be able to see their information. So one of the ways they uh, went around having to redevelop this uh, is the EHR has basically partnered with Microsoft's uh, Health Vault to provide that information. All they had to do was integrate and the a, and the front end was already available. So the PHRs will provide this longitudinal information. They'll facilitate the electronic transfer of records from doctors to patients. They will provide for the CCR and CCD record transmission via HL7. These are secured and backed by the company that develops them. They're easily integrated into hospital provider and pharmacy systems. But the adoption by patients are lower because of security and privacy concerns. So the adoption rates are very low, less than 20%. Um, we're not certain exactly how or when that will increase because the information is considered very private. So, But unless a patient initiates this record, that information will not get sent from the providers or from the pharmacies or anywhere else.